otherwise known as Overdosed versus Demos Esports Community. ZVZ, biggest map in the map pool. Let's see how this one plays out. Down here, the bottom right side of the map, Alterzeem Stronghold, playing for his respective clan known as Overdosed, a purple Zerg player. We have Mike Yu. And up here, in the top left side, playing for his clan, going by the name of Demos Esports Community. The yellow Zerg player would once again have Fugu. Fugu making a really nice showing versus Ear in a ZVT, uh, showing that his decision making is quite good. Creep spread leaves something to be, uh, to be desired, but his macro and decision making definitely more than made up for that as he was able to slowly, slowly overwhelm the forces of Ear and slowly able to survive while his army was getting bigger and bigger and was able to finally overwhelm the final forces of Ear, forcing him to GG. And the revive was used on Fugu, which, which is why we see him here again on the Alter Team Stronghold map in a ZVZ. So, is his ZVZ going to be as good as his ZVT? It's going to be an interesting question to have answered. Now, the big question here for me is, one player going to go spawning pool, or are they both going to go hatchery first? Because hatchery first on this map is probably the most standard build that you can do. There's no 10 pools coming out at all, and it looks like Mike is going to go down and go for the 15 hatch as well as Fugu. So they're both looking for that super early greed uh, hatchery first. Now, is it going to be hatch gas pool, the super greed, or is it just going to be the safer hatch pool gas? Mike saying he almost forgot the GLHF. Fugu going to go ahead and inverse that and say, have fun, good luck, which is a little bit of a nicer, nicer way to say good luck, have fun, in my opinion. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Some people don't like other people's opinions, but you know what, that is what it is, and both players are going to go for a pool, and, and a very fast gas for Fugu, so he's going to have his, well, actually, both gases are pretty similarly timed here, so it looks like Zirkling Speed should be coming out fairly, uh, in that, fairly in, in, the, in the same time for both players. Uh, Baneling Nest is going to be the big decider. Is one going to go on the Baneling Nest? Is one going to forgo the Baneling Nest? Is one going to forgo Zirkling Speed in favor of the earlier Baneling Nest? So these are all interesting questions that all stem from this gas and how much of it is used and when it is used. So again, this these builds are pretty identical here for both players. Again, the next thing is going to be, is it going to be Banley Nest, Roach Warren, Ling Speed? What is it going to be? So we're going to have to see. Have that spawn pool finishing up for Mike. Going to go ahead and throw down that clean. Going to get a second clean going right away. There it is. And Fumu's pool is finishing. Going to get one clean and a second clean started right away. So again, still it's pretty similar to time builds. Now one difference here, we have four lings versus two drones. So these four lings are going to be used in defense and scouting, whereas Mike is going to have a little bit uh, of a drone advantage. But if these lings get him to even get one drone or two, it's going to just go ahead and deny that completely. If we look at the drone counts, it's 20 to 21. So Mike is only ahead one drone, now two drones. The drone count does jump, jump up to 22. And again, if Fugu is able to get at least one drone, that will at least even it up a little bit. Now, Fugu pulling completely out of gas once the speed starts, but Mike continuing that gas and throwing down a Banley Nest and a Spine Crawler here, and he's, he's doing this like his natural, like he would have his natural on any other map. Of course, all the Zemir naturals inside your base, so it plays out a little bit differently. And Fugu actually going for two more queens, so he's looking to play very, very defensive this game. Uh, not looking to do any kind of aggression, so he's definitely going to be the more macro-oriented player, where it looks like Mike may be the more aggressive player. And Fugu is going to get up here, and he's going to see the Banley Nest timing, going to see there's a spine. Now, with the spine, this does tell me defense from Mike, at least that's generally what it says to me. And the spine may be able to take out these two these two lings, yeah, they're, they're going to they're gonna sack their lives, I guess. Speed? Oh, I thought I thought I just saw speed finish up on that one ling, but I, no, I didn't. It's about to finish, though. About to finish for Mike and also about to finish for Fugu. So Mike continuing to mine gas here. So I'm thinking he's going to go for a very fast lair. As there's no reason to continue mining gas until your ling speed is done. Ling speed is now done for both players. Fugu going to start taking that extra gas at his main. He's going to try, try to resaturate this. And there's a roach horn for Fugu. So looking to play very roach heavy. And there's an evolution chamber for Mike. So having a second evolution chamber... 
may go for the missile attack or may go for the melee attack. That's the next big question on my mind. What is the attack upgrade going to be for Mike? Is it going to be that ranged or melee? We're going to have to wait and see. Well, so far, Mike's inject's been good. Fubu's inject's been good as well. So no complaints on the inject front creep spread. Being a little bit more aggressive here for Fubu as uh, as, as creep spread left something that's something to be desired to be desired against here. And we have the melee attack coming in for Mike. So he's really looking to play very Ling heavy, which is not going to play in his favor as we see the Roach Warren is down for. Fugu, so he's definitely going to be looked at playing a very Roach heavy style. And Lings versus Roaches, I think we all know how that goes, even with upgrades, it's not very good. Where did that Ling go? There is that Ling. It's, it's very confusing trying to find it, a purple Ling with the rest of the map covered in purple. It's kind of difficult. Well, again, those double evolution chambers, the lairs just now started for Mike, the lair is about halfway done for Fugu, so Fugu's going to have a little bit quicker lair. And it's pretty clear to me that Mike is going to be playing Spire, while Fugu's going to look to play Roach, Hydra, and Fester. And yeah, these these two gas, these two on gas, has, has been a mistake for a little while here for Fugu. He tried to resaturate it with three, and maybe one of his drones, as he clicks C to return it, it just didn't go back to the extractor, which is something that happens to me quite often. Uh, all the other gases are completely saturated, however, for Fugu. So. If he, if and when he eventually spots this gas, uh, he, he'll be running completely fine on all three, or all four of his gases. Now, Mike, you making a ton of lings here and really looking to make something happen by the looks of things. And we got 11 roaches on the way for Fugu, so he's looking to make something happen with that amount of roaches. Third base is a little bit slower for Fugu as Fugu's is just about to start and Mike's is already down. So Mike has the advantage here in terms of expansion, but in terms of army, in terms of army, Fugu's looking much better. And yes, as, as Cypher points out there, Mike's minerals, look at that, man. Almost 1.1k in the bank for him. He definitely needs to start spending that. And a Spire coming down for Mike, as we pretty much expected, seeing Ling upgrades. I have a road speed on the way now for Fugu, and Fugu still hasn't figured out this double gas, so he's probably wondering, why is my gas income so low? Why is it lower than normal? Hydra is dead on the way now for Fugu, as I believe he scouts it with this Overlord over here. Has he seen it? He hasn't seen it. Well, I guess he's starting Hydra's just in case it's Mutas. I think he knows it's Mutas, though, seeing the amount of lanes out uh, with this Overlord. So he knows what's up. Mike, is he going to go for a counterattack? It looks like he's going to... Fu seeing this, though, is going to move to intercept. No, we'll actually just let those lings go. Could let these roaches sit back at home and really deal with these lings. And here we go. The roaches of Fugu are going to start moving in here on the third base. 2-2 two, two on the way for Mike, but the 1-1 one, one is already done for Fugu, which does not sit very well for Mike. And now Mike's going to force, he's going to bring all his lings back versus roaches. Lings are not very good at all. Five mutas on the way, but these roaches are going to take so long to kill from those mutas. These roaches of Fugu are going to die, but there's a bunch more on the way here for Fugu as well. So if these get cleaned up, he's got to deal with the reinforcements because Mike. 1-1 one, one versus 1-1, one, one. these roaches are still doing a decent amount of damage to all of these zerglings. And Mike is actually not going to be able to hold all these roaches at bay. Well, with the mutas popping out now, he should be more than okay. And Mike has a macro hatch at the top of this ramp as well. And these roaches will be able to get this third, and that will delay Mike's muta production as he will not have access to this fifth and sixth gas as he would normally like to. And Fugu will be able to have access to that fifth and sixth gas. The third base is going to go down for Mike, and Fugu really making these roaches do something useful for him. It looks like Mike's just going to counterattack immediately by the looks of things. He's going to look to take down the third base of uh, Fugu. The Fugu rallying nothing but roaches across the map, man. He knows. He knows that it's going to take forever for those mutas to kill any amount of roaches that are made. And Fugu just going to slowly pick away at these lings. No, never mind. He's going to slowly pick away at these lings as they move across the map. And now Fugu using a couple of roaches defensively. This is really, really nice. This is exactly what he needs to do. And yeah, these roaches coming right up at the ramp. They're actually all targeting the hatchery, which is not what you want. They're all just kind of stuck on the ramp, taking three shots from these mutas. And Mike may be able to hold on here, but Fugu with his nice roach count is doing really, really good for himself right now. And looks like Fugu is going to pull back with a ton of banelings being made from Mike here. And he does not want to waste those on those roaches. If he wastes those, it's not going to be very good for him. Queen being killed off. All the mutas following those roaches. There's still a big roach force out here. Roach force coming up into the main. And, oh man, Mike, you really don't want to waste those banelings, man. You don't want to run them into all these roaches. Because if you do, you're going to have a bad time. All right, well, he's going to do them anyway. It's going to be super inefficient. 
He's gonna kill all the roaches, but use every single bailing that he just made in the process. A Nidus Worm coming down now for Mike. What is he gonna do? Where is he gonna Nidus? Is it gonna be in the main base, the natural, or is it gonna be near the third? That's the big question on my mind right now. These mutas still killing off a few overlords here for Fugu, and no upgrades from Mike on those mutas yet either. And we have this one roach man going in fisticuffs with the queen, but the queen gonna win out in the end. Big giant roach force now moving across the map for Fugu, as I think he knows where the mutas of Mike are, so he knows he's safe to do this. Looks like he's gonna regroup with his hydras, and then he's gonna just go for it, honestly. And I don't, I don't hate that decision from him. But roof spine's not done, and I would like to see Fugu honestly just go across the map with these roaches and keep these hydras here to try to fight the mutas with the hydras and the queens. I think the hydras have enough to actually fight those mutas head on. Now, there's not too many mutas on that. There's only 14, and Mike would love to have way more, but he doesn't have any gas. He's still got almost 2k minerals, but Fugu gonna lose a few overloads here. Will supply block him, unfortunately. Noomtai's carapace is done, but still gonna supply block Fugu, unfortunately. And these mutas still continuing out in numbers. The Nidus network is done, so where is that Nidus worm gonna go ahead and be spawned is the big question. There's no overlords on Fugu's side of the map, so... Where can he plant this Nidus? Anywhere that his mutas can see, but again, there's not that many mutas on the map. This is very, very dangerous. Third base just now being re-established by Mike. And the creep spread being very aggressive here for Fugu. This is something we didn't see in his games for years. All the creep spread was killed and it was never really... And we've got Hydras and Roaches. Just kind of chilling out, seeing what they can do, and from Mike, man, he's just flying around with his mutas. What is he doing? Like, I guess he's looking for hidden bases by the looks of things. And this is... I don't know, man. I, I honestly think the more time Mike gives Fugu, the more and more time Fugu has to start getting more Hydras, more upgrades, getting everything that he needs to fight these mutas. And these mutas are in pretty decent number. They are on 17, but that number should be way higher at this point in the game. This Overlord from Mike gonna die now, and the Hydra starting to push in a fourth base now secured by Mike. So he's still ahead in that upgrade, or the, not the upgrade advantage, but the, uh, the base advantage he's got going for him right now is pretty good as well. Now these banelings are going to be absolutely crucial. Are they going to be able to connect with the big batch of hydras at the back? Here we go, Mike. You're going to take a really nice fight. Are the banelings? No, the banelings are actually just going to go right in on the roaches. And these mutas are targeting the hydras. And actually a lot of the roaches were over here fighting the, fighting the third base hatchery, which obviously can't fight back. And these mutas are going to be able to tear through everything here for uh, Mike Yu and Fugu is having a really difficult time right now, it looks like. I mean, he's trying to make all he can happen, but that fight was just not very good for him at all. Like, the Banelings, yes, were all wasted on those roaches, but the Mutas came in from the side and targeted them regardless. And we've got these two Hydras. They will end up killing this third base by the looks of things, which is really, really nice for Fugu, but we lose all the rest of the Hydras in the middle of the map. The third base is dead, and there's that Nidus Swarm. It's being planted now. Fugu, I believe, seizes with these extractors. Yes, he does. He sees it. But does he have any units to respond to it? I don't think he does. And here comes the massive counterattack by Mike, and Mike going to be able to use this Nidus Swarm to come right across the map almost instantaneously. And these blings are going to have a really hard time, but they are on 2-2, but then again, so isn't Fugu. The Snidus Worm is done, making no use of it so far is Mike. He's making more and more lings, just now starting to make use of it is Mike, and these, these lings are just going to flood out to their depths. But here comes Mike with his mutas. Are the transfuses going to be enough for Fugu? Transfuses going down everywhere on those queens. Is it going to be enough? I don't think it will be, as all these hydras going to die for Fugu and Mike Yu making these mutas work their magic on those hydras. There's not enough here for Fugu. Fugu now trying to throw spore crawlers down in desperation to try to save himself as they do three-shot mutas. But these, these mutas are not going to die today. They are killing overlords everywhere. They are doing a ton of damage. All these hydras are going to die now. And man, what a crazy game. Fugu was looking really, really good there for a while, but the mutas proved to be too much, unfortunately, for Fugu to handle. This one spore crawler not going to matter to these mutas. Oh no, it actually is. There's cleans under it transfusing it, but it looks like it's, it's going to die regardless. Transfuse is not enough. The spore crawlers are the main going down for Fugu. Fugu, another queen popping out here, but will be targeted immediately. 
And there's actually a counterattack going on, on the other side of the map. Three spines being made by Mike Yu as the mutas are going for a base trade, looks like scenario. And again, the 2 2 for the roaches, all the rest of the units for Boo Boo being sent all the way across the map. Mike Yu looks like he's going to pull drones here. I don't know how much I like that decision, but I don't think he's. He, I think he thinks he doesn't have a choice. And Lings versus Roaches, again, I'm going to come back. It's not very good. There's a lot of spores at this third base, though, for Boo Boo. They are doing a lot of damage to these mutas. Back in the main base here of Mike Yu, there's doing a ton of damage. Are these roaches? They are doing so much damage. The mutas are trying to do what they can, killing spores and cleans left and right. Are the hydras going to eventually be able to wear down these mutas? The big question the mutas do not have any upgrades. And more spines trying to be made by Mike Yu, but it looks like they're not going to be down in time. The spire could go down for him as well. Boo Boo Man. He's, he's trying, he's doing everything he can with those roaches, he's really trying to make this happen, he's only got 12 meters left, does Mike Yu, and he's still got to go through these two small collars, these five hydras, and this queen to really secure himself this victory, as yes, this base is still mining, but he's actually going after the hydras, I don't like that, you need to try to target that hatchery, and see what you can do, but these roaches, man, doing a ton of damage still, it looks like Mike Yu just cannot defend these roaches, Five spines going down at that fourth base. Is it going to be enough? Is the big question. Is every single building in Mike Yu's main and natural are going to start to fall? And these mutas still doing a ton of damage, but two more have been killed and only leaving the count at a dwindling number of ten. Seven more mutas are trying to be made now for Mike Yu. There's a ton of lings in this Nidus network. You don't want to lose this. All those lings will most likely be lost. I believe that's how that works. I'm not entirely sure. No, it looks like they are still stuck in the Nidus Worm, but that is their only way out. If that Nidus Worm goes down, that is the end of all those Ling's life indirectly. Spawning pool now being rebuilt for Fugu. Fugu going to take out the spawning pool here of Mike as well, and Mike going to try to go ahead and come back to try to defend these roaches with these mutas. Going to buy Fugu even more time, still not killing that natural. Fugu's still able to keep that up and start re-establishing spore crawlers there. The lair of Mike is going to go down now. The seven mutas that were on the way are now out, starting to try to get to these roaches, see if they can't kill them. But again, Fugu is starting to be able to remake a little bit of an, a little bit of an army. He did lose his Hydra list then, however, which means all the Hydras on the map right now are the only ones he's got left. But Mike is not going to want to engage into these two spore crawlers' cleans and these Hydras. That's a terrible, terrible decision if he decides to do so. Mike, you still got a full... Hatchery mining with five spine crawlers and the gas is just now being taken, although a couple drones being idle there. Spawning pool being remade now for Mike Yu, and that drone was able to get away, so we'll make another hatchery. This roach kind of sitting out here, and now what is Mike's decision making going to be like in this late game scenario with these mutas? Infestation pick coming down now for Fugu. Actually, Infestor's coming out for Fugu. And yes, this Nidus Worm is the last remaining refuge for these Lings. Mike, you're going to run here and you lose even more mutas to these Spore Crawlers. No, you don't want to do that. Don't engage a Spore Crawler with this few mutas left. Well, the Transfuses aren't going to be quick enough, but the muta count has now dwindled down to 8 instead of 10. Mike, what are you doing? You're just throwing mutas away to Spores. The Hydra's going to come in for Fugu, and Mike is finally going to decide, I don't want to be there, but he should have decided that a long time ago. The muta count is now only 6. And his decision-making has not been the best. Fugu definitely showing his decision-making is going to go ahead and most likely win him the game. These mutas, man, they've done they've done a lot for Mike, man, but he can't keep losing them like he is right now. And, yeah, Fugu could creep spread. Yeah, that's it's definitely something we, we've picked at him about uh, against the game with, uh, with him in the ear. That was definitely something we picked about. But here we go. Fugu going to look to end it right now. Going to look to march across the map and kill the remaining bases of Mike. Is he going to be able to do so is the big question. I think he's going to be able to, honestly. Well, maybe. These Hydras are very squishy. They only have 80 HP apiece, which, again, is not very high. Not as high as the Roaches. And these Mutas fighting Queens. The Transfuses by Fugu not going to come down. One Queen going to go down. The second Queen going to go down, but only three Mutas remain here for Mike. You and he is not feeling. I don't think I would be feeling very confident. Only three mutas. The roaches and hydras and infestors going to come down to this last mining base for Mike. You are they going to be able to kill these spine crawlers in time? These infestors going to throw out all their infested parents and start trying to draw a fire. One infestor is going to fall for Fugu, but I don't think he cares too much at this point. Ling's trying to be rallied out. GG calls Mike and Fugu in a very very scrappy late game ZVZ is able to take the clan war for Demos. Wow. That was a very confusing <sighs> game. That was a very confusing game. That was very odd. I felt like Mike could have won if he had uh, just released all the lings forth from the uh, yeah. 
I yeah, just... from the worm, yeah. That was four that... pages of links. Yep, it sure was. It was four entire pages, and he could have went in there, killed the spore crawlers, and the mutas would have had free reign, basically. And Fugu did not see Mike's fourth for like the longest time, that base that just hung out. Yeah. He didn't see it, but he eventually did. Ghost. Well, all right. Well, that's gonna wrap it up. Four three. Four, Pemos. So another Came close down. clan war. Yeah, another An really another close. one. Yeah. yeah, we've had a lot of those lately, and I don't mind that, man. Close clan wars always make for fun clan wars. But that's gonna do it for me. Uh, on the casting side of things, anyway. I'd like to thank you, Cipher, for streaming. All right, and, uh, yeah, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, I mean, um, thank you, everybody, who followed. Uh, everything will be on, as I said. Everything will be on my YouTube account, every single match. I will separate out of the uh, recording, and I will post on YouTube as individual.